Hey crafty friends, today I'm gonna to walk you through how to make a COVID-19 surgical style mask. Let's get First, started. First, download and cut out the pattern. The link is in my Next. bio. Following the pattern, cut out two of piece number A and two of piece number B. Tight woven cotton is best, like a batik or a quilter's cotton. Place the right sides together and sew along the long curved seam. And we're starting with mask B interior. Now, do the same thing with the two pieces of A, which is the outside of the exterior of the mask. I'm sewing using the standard seam allowance of 5 eighths of an inch, which is just basically following the edge of my presser foot. While I still have the machine on a straight stitch, I'm going to fold over this edge of the inside of the mask or the interior, otherwise known as part B. I'm gonna fold it in this much and give it a press. Now I'm going to open it up and sew each of those edges. This side's done. Now I'm gonna do this side. And doing it one-handed is quite a trick. Before we turn them and press them, we're gonna give just a few little clips along this edge, being careful not to go into the stitching line so that when we turn them, all of the seam allowance will just tuck inside. Now, we're gonna just give it a little press and turn. Now let's sew them together. I'm going to take the outside and place it right sides against the inside, matching this curved seam like so. I'm going to place a pin at the top seam and at the bottom seam to keep them together when I sew. And now I'm going to stitch the bottom seam first. And I'm going to need two hands to go over the lump. And I'm finishing up the bottom seam. Now I'm repeating that same stitch right along the top seam. This curved area is where the nose is going to be. And I think I can do it one-handed, but I'm just going around that curve real careful. Finishing up the top seam. To create the fitting for the nose area on the top seam, I'm going to use a four inch piece of chenille stem sewn right in the seam allowance, this area right here Changing at the top. To a zigzag stitch just wide enough to cover the wire. Now we can clip all of our little wee threads and turn it right sides out. So now it is turned the right way out and we'll press it to make it flat. You'll see that once you turn it and press it, it actually has a really nice shape to it. We're almost done. Now we're gonna make a casing for our elastic or our ties with these First, edges. Flip the top and bottom edges over and press. Next, fold the bottom outside edge over and give it a press. And then you're gonna fold up one more time so that these edges meet. This area is where your elastic or your ties will run. So you're gonna do a very scant seam right along the edge. This is probably the only seam that I'm careful with, 
but also I do a little tack at the beginning and the end. I know that this is where the elastic goes, so I want it to be secure. This is a piece of six and a fourth inch, one quarter of an inch elastic. That's what I'm using for mine, but some places are actually using for ties. But as you can see, it goes right up through this outside channel you sewed. Now I'm going to use a broken zigzag stitch or an elastic stitch. Notice how it does a zigzag in three motions to tack my elastic together. Now I can take this and actually bury it back inside the mask so you don't see it at all. Repeat this on the other side. And now your mask is complete. You've got the nose wire, you've got the inside pocket for extra filtration, and a little bit of protection in a time where you need some peace of mind. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this productive and helpful. And you can trust me. I'm the doctor. <laughs>